thanks for watching. Bait spot is getting a little crazy. We got our bait. Got the back two wells pretty well full. We can still definitely fit tons and tons more, but we're not looking to be out here all day. It's just Matt and I. Not too bad. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up to one of our reefs here, do some bottom fishing, wait for the wind to pick up, and then try some kite fishing. But for right now, we're onward. Right, we have made it to our spot. And of course, a boat's wake is going by right now. Got our live bait, hopefully live. Yes, that is the definition of live bait. We are gonna start off by dropping some baits down for some reef fish. Hopefully we can catch a mutton snapper, something I don't know. And then, God willing, a little bit of wind, just enough wind to kite fish. Not too much though, but just enough wind to kite fish. We're gonna do that and hopefully get some dolphin or sailfish, kingfish, something. Something that bites a kite bait, something that'll put on a show, something we can bring home, something. I was gonna try and grab him again, but well, at least he's off the bottom. He came up. We got a nice. I believe that was an AJ. I think it was just normal amberjack. I think I've been wrong on my amberjacks before, but woo, we got a fish. Oh, bonita. Oh, a bonita. I believe those are on the bottom. Don't keep that. Got a little chunk bait. Him, put him in the box. Yeah. You need help? Yeah. Well, that worked out pretty nicely. So that was weird. The Bonita hit him on the bottom and he came swimming up with him because I was watching it. Rod started bouncing and then it came completely slack and I picked it up, started reeling, came up to the top and really didn't fight that. Well, I like the way that works. The hook's out, the fish is in the box. So what we're gonna do with that bonita is probably use it for chunk bait later for the uh, for the bottom fish and just have another different variety, put down nice sized chunks of bait. Nice fresh bonita there. And then Matt may take them home and use it for shark bait later. going a mile a minute in there running a marathon so far we got the one the one amberjack i believe it was strong is an amberjack but i mean i know they have different variations of amberjack and the, the small beneath like i said we're gonna go ahead and cut them up use them up for, for uh, chunk bait on the bottom maybe we can get some mutton snapper but we're still trying to see if we can get a mutton snapper on a live bait here or a grouper or big mangrove anything we're just looking for some fun today that's it right matt yep just looking for some fun and trying not to die. Status update, it is 11 o'clock, almost 11 o'clock, 10 to 11. Nothing bump trolling, absolutely zilch. Found out one of uh, our baits got a little bumpity bump. So I guess that doesn't qualify as zilch, but we're qualifying it as such. We are heading to the sand pile. At this point, we just want something to tug on our baits, tug on the meat that we got on the boat today see how that goes we're gonna run to the sand pile 
hopefully there's something going on there. You never know. There's always some good quality. There can be some good quality there, Cobia or something like that. So excited. We're made to run over there. And you will be there with us. Yeah, that was a toothy dude. Look at my mom. Here we go. Right All right, so the current situation is as follows. We have Deb Benita in the bait just because at this point we'll take anything that swims. Got some lines down, got some lines up top. Don't know what Matt's doing, but we still ain't got nothing. It's been a little slow today, but it's okay. A buddy of mine just caught a sailfish out off Jupiter. Kudos. We have not. We're gonna keep trying for some that bites and swims. You can see we're marking a little bit of color on the bottom. Some, who knows, hopefully one of them will come on up and decide to say hello. Pretty sure there's a bunch of barracuda mess with our baits back there. Yeah, that's what I think. So much confidence I turned the camera on and watched. Now he won't be able to get the bear. Dude, that Goliath is. See if that Goliath will come back up for it. Oh, no wire. Matt lost the barracuda, but I think we're going to try and drop this guy down a little bit, see if we can get them goliaths to come up. All right, so we pushed inside. Ooh, little snook. And it's to catch this guy. You could almost. So as you saw, we just caught a snoop. We moved inside. We weren't doing much and nothing offshore. We got a couple baits left. We're down to one bait. We have a we got a bait on there, there, as well as there. We we got two on top, one on the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry, two on the bottom. That little guy right there is on the top. He doesn't like it very much. And we got one left in the live boat. We're gonna see if we can turn it into four snook here in the next hour or so. We already got one, so. Good start, good start. One minute at the spot, about 10 minutes. Matt's hooked up, finally. Another schnook lip, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, nice one. The same one. <laughs> Matt's got man hands. Nice little schnook lip right there. Wow, that was a flawless entry. All right, now we're down to one bait left. Oh, I knew it was gonna be. I knew it wasn't a schnook. Oh, he released himself. Nice. That's the best. There's a jack. You tell it, was, it wasn't a snook, by the way. It was fine. It was doing a lot of uh, quick head shakes and downward motions. He don't hook himself. And that's the best kind of release there is. All right, well, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video with me and Scaredy Cat Matt over here. We're going to reel in that last line right there, and I think we're going to head on in, grab some lunch, get some errands taken care of. It's a great day on the boat. Nonetheless, always a great day. Thank you all for watching. If you all like that video, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and we will see you all next time.